Hey, my name is Alex, and I just want to take a few moments today to explain the concept of visual controls. This is the fire diamond. If you've ever volunteered in a hospital or laboratory, you've probably seen one before. You might even know what it means. Commonly painted on waste bins or chemical drums, a combination of numbers and colors identify the flammability, health, and reactivity hazard levels of each container. What I don't get is this, why use the symbol when you could just write the instruction on the container? It seems like you communicate more information that way. You're right, written instructions are often more comprehensive, but they're often more verbose. True! I worked at a dental office a few summers ago, and sometimes I would help the lab technician unpack new shipments of chemicals for her lab. Since each package had its own fire diamond, I knew precisely uh, how cautious to be with it. The strike W, for example, meant that I had to be super careful with the contents and make sure they didn't come into contact with water. That's right. The general idea of visual control is designing an environment that immediately communicates a status or some kind of instruction. A fire diamond is a great example, but there are many other kinds of visual controls too. Since Ben already mentioned this, can you guys think of any other kinds of Visual controls in a dental office. The last time I was at dental office, I noticed that every room had a big computer screen with a minute by minute schedule on it. The doctors, hygienists, and even the secretaries were consistently glancing at the screen to see what to do and where to go next. Does that count? Definitely. Where I worked, color-coordinated patient schedules were a critical part of daily operations. My manager once told me how our staff used to use handwritten agendas. This meant that if a change was made to the schedule, like if a patient canceled their appointment, everyone would have to meet up in the lounge to correct their papers. Now, the master calendar is projected in every room and can be universally updated from any computer. Plus, each laboratory is color coordinated for easy reference and patient appointments are tiled with icons indicating allergies and other mission critical information. When I worked at a Dairy Queen, all the cakes, paperware, and toppings were often labeled and placed in specific locations on shelves. I'm sure dental tools and chemicals are arranged like that too. You're right. Just like the manager of an ice cream parlor, the manager of dental office is sure to want equipment and supplies stored tightly so they can be easily accessed when needed. One of the main principles behind the concept of visual control is creating an orderly, informative workplace. I also know that there are many emergency safety showers in many biology labs. In a crisis, no one has time to read a paragraph of step-by-step -step instructions. So there is really a big sign nearby that succinctly illustrates how to operate the shower. I'm sure there are similar visuals in a dental office. My employer didn't have one of those showers, but we did have eye wash stations. And just like you said, each faucet had an immediately identifiable sign nearby, like this. Exactly, you guys are really catching on. As you can tell, visual control is an important but often overlooked aspect in the workplace. Yep, to recap. Visual control is the management practice of creating an environment filled with instructions, identification, and plans that immediately communicate a plan. Those can be things like safety, sample, store, storage plans, and the operational guides. Wow, I never realized how important visual controls could be. Neither did I. Well, thanks for joining us. If you'd like more information about visual controls, check out pages 63 and 64 in the course packet.